Thanks AG1 for sponsoring this video. They are one of the most popular party foods ever. And today I am on the quest to find out which way is the best way to get the crispiest wings ever. And I'll tell you one thing, from all the researches I've done and the tests I've made, this is one of my best discoveries ever. So let's begin. And everything starts off with chicken wings. Are you a drums person or a flat? This is an argument that can go on forever. But I'll tell you one thing. Give me either one and as long as they are nice and crispy, I'll be happy. Now, in order to get the best results of my chicken wings, the first thing we need to do is to get it seasoned. Not only do we want the salt to penetrate nicely and deeply into the meat, we are also trying to avoid the most amount of moisture. Because all we care about today is crispiness. So after seasoning it with a good amount of salt, I made sure to rub them around each other so that we don't get the flats people mad with the drums one. Now, the next thing to do is to go ahead and set them on a cooling rack. I wanted to give additional flavor and for that I used Guga's rub. Adding a good amount of it on the chicken wings is a must. It has hints of sweetness that it just brings out a better flavor. Because once I was done seasoning all of them, into the refrigerator they go so that they can dry brine. As that was happening it was perfect because it allowed me time to go ahead and make an awesome side dish. Now this one will please everyone that loves beef. As they are short ribs pull apart. And here's how to make them. The first thing to do is to get the short rib. Now these I used on a previous episode on sous vide everything. Whenever you're having leftover meats, do not throw them away. We can always use them for something else later on. That is exactly what's happening right here. So after heating them up a little bit, I went ahead and added a good amount of red wine. Cooked them up for about two minutes. Then I added some tomato sauce, followed by diced jalapeno and some Worcestershire sauce for extra flavor. Now mix everything well and combine these ingredients together and taste it for seasoning. As soon as I did so, I said, you know what? We need some spice. So I threw in some kojuchan Korean paste, followed by a little bit more of salt. Mixed them well and combine everything together because my feeling was done. Now this is delicious by itself, as it is for the next ingredient. And even if you don't have croissants, any type of dough will work with this recipe. So after opening everything up, I set them down on a baking tray. You don't have to do this design, you can be as creative as you like. Because once that was done, I went ahead and added the short rib we just prepared right now. And in the middle, I added a good amount of cheddar cheese. We're talking about the more, the better. Once that was done, I went ahead and made a little hole in the middle and closed everything up. As the next thing to do is to go ahead and bake it. For that, I threw it in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. Once the time was up, I took it out and take a look. The only thing I have to do is to cut it and put it on a serving plate. The bread is fully baked. The cheese is nice and melty. It is juicy, gooey, and very, very soft. The complete opposite of what we're trying to do with our crispy chicken wings. Because by this time, they were fully dry brine. And to make them extra crispy, I'm going to be using a special ingredient. This is rice paper. It is the same thing they use in Vietnam these restaurants to make spring rolls. Now to use them it's pretty straightforward. The first thing I needed to do was to cut them a little bit smaller. Then you want to dunk them in warm water, lay them down on a cutting board and wrap your entire chicken wing with it. Now you want to make it as nice and tightly as possible. As once you have done so, this is what you should be left with. A tightly wrapped chicken wing that hopefully will be extremely crispy whenever we deep fry it. But since I was doing this, I also wanted to try something else. And that is with these one tongue wrappers. You probably had them before. Usually you put cream cheese filling or any other things. However, today I'm going to be wrapping it on the chicken wing. It is pretty straightforward just like the previous one as well. I just like to use a little bit of water to tighten up the seal. As once I was done with all of them, take a look. They are also now ready to be deep fried. Now like always, we also have to have a control as well. That way we're going to be able to tell if it's going to be an improvement or not. As the only thing left to do is to go ahead and deep fry them. For that, I set my oil at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Threw them in there and let them cook. I was targeting for an internal temperature of 185 degrees Fahrenheit as we want to remove the most amount of moisture as possible to get them super crispy. Because once they're fully cooked and crispy, you're going to be left with a very interesting chicken wing, which hopefully will be a lot better than the control. But don't forget, we still have another one to deep fry. I did the same exact thing as I did with the previous one, cooking them at 375 degrees oil so that we can get them nice and crispy. And once I was done, take a look. Here we have the beautiful one tongue crispy chicken chicken wings. They look very nice and delicious. But take a look at the rice paper one. These are some extremely crunchy, crunchy chicken wings. And my hopes is that it's going to be 10 times better than the traditional version. 
Japan. However, we are about to find out right now. As now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to eat some incredible chicken wings. So let's do it. Does that look good or what? But before we try it, I want to thank today's sponsor, AG1. The steaks give me good energy, I can't lie. But come on now, I can't eat steaks every day. But you know what I do drink every day? My AG1. AG1 delivers comprehensive daily nutrients and supports long-term gut health. It's made up of 75 high-quality whole food source ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. Carefully curated to nourish all the body systems holistically. Essential daily routines like AG1 help us set our intentions and keep us moving in a healthy direction. AG1 is a great first step. Starting each morning with a simple routine dedicated to health makes us feel great. It helps me with sustained physical and mental energy, and it helps keep that clarity and focus that I need on filming days like today. It's an effortless daily habit, and I like the taste. One scoop or travel packet of AG1, eight ounces of water every day, that's it. Go to athleticgreens.com slash Foods to get started on your order. AG1 is going to give my community a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D3 plus K2. Oh, and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Thank you, AG1, for sponsoring this video, but now it's time to taste. All right, everybody, here we have our feast today, gentlemen. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. This is, this is kind of weird, Google. What's wrong with you? Do you have a fever? I, uh, You're making chicken wings? After making so many YouTube videos, almost a thousand YouTube videos, this is my first chicken wing videos on Google Foods, everybody. I love chicken wings, but you don't have to say that this is an experiment for me to know that this is an experiment, Guga. Why? That does not look like a chicken wing. Tell me if you ever heard the crispiness like this. And obviously we got a little side dish over here. Yeah. Just so that you wouldn't hate too much. That is beef, by the way. That is a good side dish. I got two sauces over here. I got Frank's Red Hot with butter and then obviously barbecue sauce. Okay, let's dig in, enough talking. And uh, we'll try the control first, please dig in. I'm gonna upset some people, but I'm a drum guy. Drums or flats? Which one is better, everybody? Put it in the comments down below. Quick reminder, everybody, I am going on a book tour. There's only a few days left. These are the days that I'll be in each individual city. Love to see you guys there. All links will be in the description. Enough talking, let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mmm, not bad. Mm -mm. Misses some crispiness. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I thought there was gonna be more crunch to that bite, but not really. It's like a, an okay chicken. It's juicy. It's got a little bit of a bite, but it's a chicken wing, bro. Nothing crazy, it's just a regular chicken wing, everybody. Obviously, it has good flavor, but if we are judging crispiness, that's not it. Let's go for this one, yeah? Because this is the craziest one. Wow. Let's please dig in. Let's stick to the, the drum. Oh my God. All right. This is super crispy. As you squeeze, that's crispy, yes, everybody. That sounds <laughs> like it's got some crispiness. Right. Well, let's give it a go and let you guys know how it tastes. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh my God. Now that is some next level crispiness right mm -hmm. there. Oh yeah. It's still very juicy too. Mm -hmm. What I like about this crust is that I thought wow. it would be too hard to break, yeah. but not at all. As soon as you start to bite it, it just falls apart. Yeah, it's like brittle. Yeah, exactly. It has almost no flavor since it's wrapped on this rice wrapper, by the way. Oh, it's obviously more crispy. Yeah, for if, sure. If your objective is to be a little bit more crispy with your wings, this works. So far, I'm definitely with this one. What about you? Definitely. This one has got that crunchy, crisp feel to it. It's just Ew. nice. Crispy cream chicken wings are by far the crunchiest. <laughs> Very delicious. Highly recommend. I say we clean our palates with some side dish and beef and make Angel happy. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, okay, please bring it in. Make so what Angel this happy. is, short rib bread. Oh. Yes. Oh. Nothing wrong with that. Enough talk, let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Ooh, hell yeah. That's a 10 out of 10. We'll highly recommend it. Hell right? yeah. That is killer. How's it taste, Angel? Hell yeah. Can you say something besides hell that? Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> hell yeah, everybody. That's how it tastes. This is a hell yeah type mm -hmm. of thing. Soft bread. You have that nice, like, pull apart short rib, gooey cheese, and the juiciness yeah. is freaking crazy. Delicious. Highly recommend. It is 10 out of 10. Not only that, fat free, calorie free. Your doctor will <laughs> love it when you eat that one, everybody. All right? No! No! Very good. Let's go for the last one, yeah? Ooh. Wait, are, we go are we going Man. for drums again? <laughs> Hell yeah. Wow. It's like a one tongue chicken wing, everybody. That's what it is. This looks very impressive. Enough talking. Let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. 
Mmm. Also very crunchy. All right, I have my winner already. Which one is your winner? The rice. The rice crispy? The crispy cream. The crispy cream. <laughs> I agree. You? The rice as well. You can't beat that level of crispiness. This one comes close. But this but one also changed the flavor. Since it's wonton, it, it feels like a spring roll or like a egg roll or whatever. So it has like even that little taste you get. It reminds me of um, Chinese takeout. If we're judging crispiness and flavor, the rice paper is the winner. 100% agree. Quick reminder, everybody, my book tour is going on right now. Here are all the days underneath it. If you are in any of those cities, make sure you come check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.